So one, I appreciate everybody being out here. I appreciate you guys coming out and helping us with our full scale. You'll be working with my folks, the firemen and the EMS folks. Scenes from this year's Capital Shield exercise. The annual exercise brings together local, state, and federal disaster response teams. We'll have much more on the exercise in a moment. Hello and welcome to Mead Week. Also this week, Fort Meade's Navy Federal Credit Union branch is tops in the Army, and September is National Preparedness Month. These stories and more, but first, as I mentioned a moment ago, Capital Shield is an annual exercise that tests interagency operability in the event of a crisis impacting the National Capital Region. The exercise, hosted by Joint Force Headquarters National Capital Region, takes place annually at military installations across the NCR. Fort Meade's participation this year included a mass casualty exercise involving a major traffic accident. Installation Management Command provided the exercise evaluation team. The evaluation team comes together to ensure that the emergency response services come together to appropriately respond to and can recover from uh, any major disaster, mass casualty, man-made or natural disaster. Uh, and they work together in coordination to, to take care of the people and the installation. While the exercise involved emergency services personnel from Fort Meade and the Reynolds County and Howard County, it wouldn't be nearly as realistic without a host of volunteers. We uh, were invited in to uh, provide volunteers to support the Army exercise. Uh, so we reached out to our members, we reached out to the volunteers who support us, and we reached out to Meade High School, who we have a special relationship, bringing their Homeland Security students here to help support the Army in this important exercise. Uh, we teach the community about emergency preparedness and response, and then if there is a disaster or emergency, uh, we go out and respond. Uh, in particular, we were very active during COVID, not exactly what we trained for, but uh, we provided about uh, 8,600 hours of support for Anne Arundel County. Our, our volunteers are anybody who is a resident of um, Anne Arundel County. Our, our youngest is uh, 18 years old, our oldest is 85. Uh, but it's people who have a passion to provide volunteer service. In other news, Hurricane Fiona has provided a stark reminder that September is National Preparedness Month. Here's a brief message from FEMA. How prepared is your family if a tornado shows up at your doorstep or a flood? or a hurricane. You can't just turn away a natural disaster. That's why it's important to go to ready.gov slash plan now. It has the tools and tips you need to make an emergency plan with your family. So if disaster comes knocking, let's go. You'll be ready to help keep your family safe. It's just a pizza. Yeah. Make a plan today. In other news, the Army Financial Management Command has named the Fort Meade branch of the Navy Federal Credit Union as the number one Army Distinguished Credit Union for 2021. Representatives from the Army Financial Management Command and Navy Federal Corporate Offices stopped by Fort Meade recently to congratulate the branch staff. On behalf of the front office, again, congratulations to the Fort Meade team. You guys epitomize um, service to our members. And I love to hear the stories. Uh, when I got to visit last year, and uh, you just provide just a tremendous service, and I want to thank you. It's obviously this award kind of culminates that over a year's period. Fort Meade Garrison Commander Colonel Michael Sapp presented the award on behalf of the Army. On behalf of the United States Army, it is my proud honor to be able to award you the 2021 Army Credit Union of the Year for the Navy Federal Credit Union Fort Meade Branch. Thank you, sir. Elsewhere, I have a couple of reminders from MWR. First Club Mead and the Maryland Department of Labor are hosting another job fair in November. It's coming up on November 16th from 10 to 2. It's open to the public. There will be a shuttle bus running between the Reserve Center on Maryland 175 and Club Mead. You're encouraged to arrive early, bring plenty of resumes, and dress for success. For details and a preliminary list of potential employers, go to mead.armymwr.com. And if you go to that website, you'll also see that MWR and the Mead Rodden Gun Club are hosting the Fall Youth Fishing Rodeo Saturday, October 8th from 8 to noon at Burba Lake. As always, registration starts at 8. Awards will be given out in three age categories. The event will be held rain or shine. Once again, for more information, go to mead.armymwr.com. And finally this week, our podcast team talks with Yolanda Rayford, director of the Baltimore Chesapeake Region Chapter for Blue Star Families. Blue Star Families was founded by military spouses in 2009 and is, according to their website, committed to strengthening military families by connecting them with neighbors, both individuals and organizations, to create communities of mutual support. That's Fort Meade Declassified, available just about everywhere you get your podcasts. And that's Mead Week for this week. I'm Brian Spann. For everyone at Mead TV and the Fort Mead Public Affairs Office, have a great weekend and a great Mead Week.